Now Detroit has won five of their last six on the road. And they had a West Coast road swing a couple of uh, weeks ago where they went four and one. And across the lane, Stackhouse finds two. You know, I think the prescription is to drive on each other because both of these teams don't have a significant shot blocker in there. McGrady the miss from outside. Detroit is on a 9-4 run after a 13-0 run by Toronto. Through traffic, Williams leading the break, feeding to Stackhouse. He may be just inside the top 20, but you always get a pain in your oh, chest yeah. when you find him that open shooting the basketball. Grand Hill trying to beat the buzzer and puts it in with point two on the first quarter clock. Great shot by Grand Hill hitting his first field goal out to Christie. Shot clock showing seven. The drive in the crowd inside. Tap up and in by Willis. Well, Christie thinks he can take Crowdy. When Hunter was on him, he had a lot of trouble putting the ball on the floor. But now with Crowdy in there, he definitely feels he can penetrate it. Yeah, but I like that. You know, I mean, it's not as much a highlight film, but in the same token, he's going towards the basket, which puts pressure on the defense. When he and McGrady stands out there and launches up those long shots, I don't think this team would be as effective in the playoffs they do that. Well, he's definitely going to have something in there. If you spend four years with Coach Knight, I'm sure it's going to impart you in some aspect of your life. You know, as far as what's going to be in there, I'm sure it's going to be something that's going to be very good. All right, good luck. We'll be out in a couple of weeks. All right. Kevin, Coach? Thank you, Craig. Grant Hill persevering inside after Antonio Davis had knocked one away. You're talking about he's getting better and better. When he really gets good, he's going to be unbelievable. Brady for a six. Grant Hill is taking over this game for the Detroit Pistons. Well, and you're looking at this. You know, Hill is sealing. You know, he's being fronted. He takes it right to the basket. You know, before he penetrated, before he shot a jump shot, he knows how to mix up his stuff very well. There's no movement, Kevin. It's just isolation and no movement. And you have so much athleticism in McGrady and Carter. If they get a little bit more movement, I've got to believe that they can get to the basket like this and create problems. Oh, and a great move by Grand Hill. <laughs> First lead for Detroit since leading 10 to 9 back in the early stages of the game. Great seductive move by Tracy McGrady. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, he's just got so much ability that he's got to mix up some of those jumpers. Take maybe three drives to one jump shot. And Stackhouse answers at the other end. Shot clock at five. Corner over Stackhouse. Rebound by Willis, another offensive rebound. McGrady got a hand on it. Here comes Hunter, triggering to Stackhouse. Back is Carter, Stackhouse to the hole, and slammed in by Grant Hill. <laughs> well, both of he and Jerome were fighting for the ball in the air, Kevin, and Grant took it and put it in the back. basket. <laughs> Well, and you look at the Grand Hill penetrate, you know, I mean, he splits two men, and, and now you're talking about, you know, nobody in the back. Now you you look at Stackhouse, and Grand Hill, and Jerome Williams, you're talking about attacking the ball. They both go up for that rebound. This kid is getting better. Stackhouse fires a three. Rebound, Mikey Moore, a seven-footer. Into Stackhouse, great pass by Mikey Moore. Which I think altered the shot, he misses. And he gets it back, a fresh 24 seconds, and Stackhouse on the perimeter. Well, the grid's pretty good defensive, uh, defensive shot block. And Detroit with Hill getting it off the stack. 56% shooting in this quarter by Detroit. A little shimmy and a drive. Nice move by Stackhouse. Craig Sagers with Grant Hill, who had 16 points in that second quarter. Take it away, Craig. Well, Grant, one of your greatest assets is you let the game come to you. But you did not have a field goal until two tenths of a second ago in the first quarter. Are you aware that you have 19 points, or did you make a conscious effort to be more aggressive offensively? I planned it that way. I didn't want to score in the first quarter. <laughs> no, um, it, it was definitely tough, and uh, Vince got going early, and I couldn't hit a shot, but... Uh, it was a long game, 48 minutes, and uh, I got going a little bit there in the second. Jerry got going in the second, and, uh, you know, we're up eight now, going to halftime. So, so come out and play hard in the second half and put ourselves in a position to win the game. Are you going to score in the third quarter or wait till the fourth? Uh, I'm, I'm going to score in the third. Okay, thanks. Let's go back to Kevin and Coach. <laughs> Ronnie Aaron's in two right now because from what I can see, he's a heck of a defensive player. You know, he gets out there and really works on defense. Mason McGrady with the rebound corralled by Leitner out to Grand Hill who glides. And it looks like he's floating on air as he takes it in for two there. <laughs> right? I mean, I mean, he's getting the ball penetrating to the basket on everything. And if he doesn't get the shot, he gets the free throw. And I, I think it's just a question.
question, Kevin, of experience because you have the same thing with McGrady and you have the same thing out there with Carter. They have the same kind of skills to be able to penetrate the same way Stackhouse and Hiller penetrate. <laughs> Davis twirling inside and trying to get that launched. Rebound again, inhaled by Grant Hill. He'll come galloping the other way, which has been his bread and butter. Great spin move by Grant Hill. Oh, what a play. <laughs> Inside once again, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> but that one had an acrobatic feel to it. With a shove and a Detroit foul, and they assess that foul at the 25 points at Grant Hill, as you can see right here. Foul is called on Detroit's Lindsey Hunter. It's all Pistons by 10. Couple substitutions now. Mikey Moore is in for Detroit. Stackhouse is in there still, as is Hunter. The shot outside. Jerome Williams comes in. Under three to play here in the third. Flying his way inside. Foles. Jitterbugs for the shot. Rebound by Curry. Here's a two on two. Hunter streaking into Dale Curry. Outside for Stackhouse and three. Right between the eyes. Well, you look at it, off of their defense, they're pushing the ball. They're not holding it up. George Gervin said to us that he wanted to run on everything, made baskets and missed baskets. He pulls the defense and then pitches it out uh, to Stackhouse, and Stackhouse gets an easy basket. Detroit suddenly become a fun team to watch. Well, they have, it, and it's a question of experience. I mean, you look at this. has been no closer than six points this half. Grant Hill, great touch from outside. Here's McGrady finding Carter off balance. Can't get it. He is staggered in the second half for the Raptors tonight. Well, that's not the kind of shot you want to take. You don't want to be falling out of bounds, shooting the ball at this point. Oh, Stackhouse out of bounds. He stepped, wiping away. That will take out of your chair. That was a spectacular dunk. 24 for Carter. 9 of 12 for the free throw line. But Brady is on Hill. And they isolate. And he pitches it outside. Stackhouse for three. Oh, that could be the dagger. Well, that's the difference. At one end, you have McGrady handling the ball a lot, who's probably the most inexperienced player on the team. At the other end, you have Hill handling the ball. If Hill doesn't get the shot, he makes good judgments because of experience, and he finds somebody else to get the ball to. Muggsy tonight with five assists off the bench. Grant Hill right down the middle. And Grant Hill tonight with 32 points for the Pistons. His handling the ball, being the youngest player on the floor, you know, as much as he's had to handle the ball in the latter stages of this game, reflects the score also. Here comes Stackhouse with the drive. Another impossible shot sunk by Jerry Stackhouse, who's having an incredible season. Maybe, John, the most improved player this year in the NBA. We saw number 27 drop right there. Well, and he's heading towards the basket, which opens up for his jump shot. You know, and, and, and also he's been playing defense extremely well as a team. I think that the, the Pistons definitely came out and set the tone for this ball game by playing such aggressive defense and getting out and getting their fast break going. And stopping people from scoring is uh, John, they've been running too, and that's been fun to watch. They've got the athletes to pull it off. Pistons come up with a big win. It's their second score. They get third consecutive win on the road. Toronto back-to-back -back home losses by 21 points, then 16, losing tonight, 104 to 88.